Um, I think for me, number one thing when I was I was just looking at teams and then Navi just caught my eye where it kind of reminds me of like the early OG days where you just have no one that is there like a star player, right? How dare you? No How dare one you, that sir? can kind of... Why'd you no hit Jell? Can... Why are you hitting on Jell? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on no, one really. that can, no one that can kind of carry games or... And sure. I think it's a problem in teams where yeah. no one is being said like, hey, bro, you are our carry. You are our star player. We need you to win. And it's kind of like this situation where I had in OG where like we all pretend like we are all star players. We right. all participate. You know, right. we're all holding hands, sure. jumping around the campfire, right? So it's basically kind of that where... You need. I feel like they need to tell, and the only person they can tell, I feel like, is wonderful, right? Yes. Out of out of everyone, yes. he, they need to tell him, and he kind of looks like the guy that's kind of like shy, right? Kind of re- reserved, yep. whatever. He does his job sometimes, but I feel like they need to tell him as a management, as a team, to be like, we need you. We need you to be the carry, you know, like specifically tell him like we need you in these games because I don't feel like Navi is gonna be consistent or win. And off a gate, uh, like a LAN tournament, apart from they have like, which they had in the major, this kind of like fluke kind of situation where they just overperformed, right? <laughs> but in order to be a super consistent team yeah. to win like a lot of tournaments, you need to have like this kind of player in your team or players, right? Kind of like this Donk Shiro situation sure. where like, we need you. We yeah. need you to win these tournaments. I like the way he just said all the shit normally we get in trouble for saying, but it's all, it's all I good. Know. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Good stuff. Know, fluke. Fluke okay. win. Yeah. I, I feel like the, the... I feel like Navi is just... The, the star is just Blade and Alexi. That's the funny thing about them. Yeah. The only people that are really all-star caliber per role are them two. JL obviously can pop off at times, but for whatever reason, it's like he takes off group stages and then suddenly powers up in playoffs, which is... I love that. I love I love when you have a guy like that, but I don't really want that to be the backbone foundational element of fragging on my team. I feel like the guy that you mentioned already wonderful, he's the one that definitely needs to take the jump up because I like the skill is obviously there. You see him in a late round yep. situation, he gets 3 kills in succession that it legitimately looks like prime simple. I mean, he's using the same sensitivity and all, but when it comes to early mid round, he's not the same sort of impactful player like Brokey, Monacy, even Zywu. Like, he just he just doesn't go for as much. I, I honestly think right now, if I were to rank Oppers, this is kind of ridiculous, but, like, I feel like I feel like if I'm getting a more stable presence game to game, <laughs> I'm doubling down on the, the hot take I had before. I'd take Torzy. I think Torzy's way more consistent through okay. ga- game, game to Bold. game than somebody like Wonderful, where I've seen games where Wonderful just goes super passive, ends up saving a lot, and then just... Yeah, his stats actually look okay, but I didn't feel any impact in the server. Whereas Torzi actually is in the fray so much more, and he's he's seemingly like he's like battle opping isn't what I necessarily know Torzi for, but in terms of like trading and just making sure that he's right behind his teammates, he does such a good job. Got good job at it. Like Wonderful is more clutch, but you only get maybe one to two really great clutch opportunities per series where just basic trading is something that Torzi's so much better at, and I'd rather have him on my team right now. So. Yeah, for Navi overall, I I think like another big thing that's really hindering them is that Bit is also just totally game to game. Bit Bit for me is just like the the most streaky player on this roster. Where yeah, sure, one game it's like yeah, like I mean mem- remember that uh, map three of the grand finals oh, where he just has the yes. most unbelievable performance ever. You get that once per maybe like four maps with it. It's just it's just like you'll you'll see him missing for an entire series, but then versus yeah versus phase you'll get this like. I don't even know, two point rating, 2.0 rating. Like it's just, it's just unbelievable. And I just don't feel like as a team, you can really like, that's not how you should be set up. Your anchor lurker player should be a much more stable force. That's why like, that's why it feels like Navi can both like win a whole tournament or go to the grand finals. And they can also bomb out in a group stage. Because if you have a guy that's supposed to be the reliable force, I, I almost feel like Zontix's body shotting ways it should be the future of what lurker anchor should do because it's like i need this guy to get one kill no matter what and bit sometimes is like okay so you're gonna either give me zero 
or you're gonna give me three insane headshots. Like I'll take the I'll take the consistent kill because I know then that I can just get some retake procedures in there, and I know you're gonna hopefully slow them down a little bit. I, I I don't know if I really want the the mega high variance all the time. Believe it or not, by pure coincidence, that might be a topic that comes up later in this particular episode. So we'll see about that. We'll just tease that now. I would say I, I actually do agree. Here's the weird thing about this move. I actually think, in a weird sense, it's a good problem to have because when they announced that Wonderful was going to initially just stand in and replace simple we didn't know if he was like going to come back in a month or for the major or whatever the fuck people thought back then i actually remember saying on these shows the reason why i think it's a great pickup is because actually this guy has like skills that look they're not simple skills but they're like 80 percent of simple skills so he's going he's going to give you good orping but actually he's not going to bring the star ego of simple so actually it means that in theory it creates room for the others in the team like actually if people like Immer and bit were fucking stars they were like the best rifles in the world they would be loving play with wonderful he is more of like the basic orp who's just doing the stuff you're asking. I also think, by the way, as I said at the time, if you're someone like Blade, if you're going to have to work with an AWPA and instantly get him up to speed, this guy seems very malleable. Like, he'll do what you want. He'll play the way you want. He's clearly someone... And, I, and the reason why I'm almost certain Mantu was right, and it's something about his personality, is because when you saw this guy, when he did play in, like, Spirit back in the day in Sprout, he actually did seem a bit more freewheeling and, like, he would just kind of go... Like, if people don't know, he has a very fast firing speed. He would go for those crazy shots and stuff. I feel like in Na'Vi, I think he intentionally plays a bit more restrained and that they just want him to do replicable things in the round and people know where he is and like you say Maui don't take the risk early on like like Money C would and do like a peek in the three people and get like a three kit his style's like you just hold your spot and play back and you let the rifles have the space and they do what they want so the reason why I say it's a good problem to have is like one I actually do think if you really did identify this in your Navi and you're not going to make a player change you could actually encourage him to be have a bit more agency and show him some Money C demos and people like that who are like playing like a little bit on their own and, and let him and tell him sometimes we're going to need to go into that mode where you sort of like do what simple would do like break the game open like we're losing but I also think like I just said earlier if you ever do actually make a, pros a, a player change like you bring in a star rifler I also think this guy would be an awesome sidekick as an opera as a result he could keep doing this style so and I'm with you actually Maui it's funny that every other name gets mentioned so obviously all the fans obsess about Immer because he, he doesn't have fucking blast Paris numbers and he's, he's kind of the scapegoat isn't he I always do point this out though if you ever watch Immer's game though and the stats even show this he doesn't have good stuff stats but his actual like kills per round are way better than you think like he does kill people he does, he's not like an actual bot just sat in a corner jail the problem is he's just like that's fool's gold one in the sense he's a fool but then two in the sense that like he's not supposed to be a star even he knows he isn't for fuck's sake the point of a player like him is he actually does his job and then every now and then he'll give you like a guy performance and put you over the top but as a result by the way it's why I never ask for him to be kicked I'm fine with him staying if we have a good opera and we have a good IGL we have a good star right he can play and actually will be a good factor for the team the real guy I think escapes all the time is just fucking bit and the reason why is obvious one he's the exact same fucking nationality as his coach and the fucking org that helps and then two he's now won fucking two majors that really helps and I'll tell you what if you want to have a game that will live in people's heads forever Maui you can take months off if you have the last map of a final yeah. you completely shit on everyone and carry it against like FaZe Clan like that'll, that'll, that'll buy you some space that'll give you some time to have a bad game because I'm with you actually if you look at the skill set of all these players dude he's the one where when he goes off his aim looks fucking sick he looks like he could be like a dominant player in fact I even look at him that's the player I would really love to see like a really good interview with or something like what's going on with him why does he seem to think of himself as some sort of like a background element in the team if I were him I'd be like mate I should be in this conversation with all these top riflers I should be a top 20 player like for me that's the player that could make the step forwards but no I do agree I actually do think the real problem you have in Na'Vi it's why again to take the point you guys said it's why everyone's giving so much credit to Blade and Alexi B you look at the squad and you're like it's obviously not like a superstar player just dominating the games that doesn't exist for Na'Vi I'd even say as a squad it's actually quite impressive they are able to get these results with without what, one player that goes off because pretty much every team that's beaten them has like a best player in the world candidate or HLTV top 10 player. They don't have one for me at least. Like if I had to pick where Wonderful goes today, he's probably like the 15th best player in the world at best. You know what I mean? Like he's not going to be like top five. But the difference is you're trying to beat like somebody who's like the third best player in the world. So fair play to Navi. Okay. Still is a bad point though. I'm with you on that. I, I also <laughs> don't want like Wonderful to end up like... Cause it like uh, in, in a lot of like opus or players in general where they have a type of style they have like before joining a team and it's slowly slowly they transition into something they are not you know and wonderful is obviously a super skilled player and i don't want him to like 
be in a situation. But it's sweet. You like, relate to this, right? You told me a similar thing. Like you, you sometimes feel like you should have like tried to be a bit more of like a star and take on yeah, the responsibility, yeah. right? And that's the problem with being a passive character, not someone like Simp, where you're like, I right. want to do this. Like, and you're kind of like joining a first kind of t- tier one team. Yes. And then you're like, I will listen to everyone. I want to be good. I want to be nice. I want to, you know, listen to everyone. And it's it's like slowly, after months, months, years, you're like slowly into transforming something into something that you're not, you know? Uh, so that's the one thing I don't want Wonderful to kind of turn into and slowly like fade away a little bit. And, and also makes me think, does like Alexi's style of like calling or like just whole game allow for there to be a star opera? By the way, I I hope everyone listening does remember, he actually did play for Alexi V, guys. He's not just pulling this out of his ass. He's been led by Alexi. He has an idea of what it's like to be Alexi's opera, right? Yeah, that's what what I'm thinking. Like, is there enough room to to have a star opera, right? Right. Into his kind of like style of calling because like, Obviously, he played, Alex played with Simple, right? Yes. Obviously, that was the end of like kind of Simple CSGO kind yes. of era or whatever. Uh, and then, obviously, he played with Monesi, but then the other guys didn't like him. So, we kind of, we sure. never got to see how Monesi and Alexi kind of played around. So, it makes me think, is there kind of room for for this kind of star opera to to play with Alexi and not kind of interfere with his kind of, with, sure. with his game? Yeah. Hmm. Where, where do you actually... On that note, I guess when you played with him, you were pretty new to opping and everything. Like, what was the back and forth like? Because I think Alexis even said he's liked playing with oppers that are able to call their own number, like, say, Alu before. What, when you were with him, though, was it like, what was the combination of ideas? Like, was it mostly you calling it? Was it him calling it a lot? How, how did it go? Um, it was at the, like at the start of of OG. It was mostly like because I still had my style of playing where I just wanted to go everywhere, peek everywhere, blah blah blah. And it kind of like he kind of like uh, pulled me back a little bit, you know, because he wanted me to play, for example, like Jamie, like Shiro, you know, that kind of stuff. Open mm-hmm. back then, where it was like you know, play passive, get the openings, you know, play for the team, right. stuff like that, you know. Uh, City side was never like the, the problem. I could always do what I wanted to do. And I think Wonderful can also do what he wants to do on City side. That isn't a problem. I'm just thinking more on T side because that was like also my problem in OG where City sides were, there was no problem City sides. I feel complete freedom. But I just wish like going back in time now with Alexi where we could have like integrated more or like T side where I could do something, he could do something, you know, like 50-50 a little bit where I could have impact in the game because when you're playing against like super good teams and it's only Alexi calling and everyone's playing okay, that's not going to win you the game. That is not going to like, even right now for Navi, that's not going to win them against the best teams. I feel like these tournaments, you need that kind of star player and you need those kind of like, for example, wonderful, like one round just saying, I want to do this. Let's play around around me, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I could win this round, you know? And then suddenly they win the, the, the map, the tournament or whatever. So, that's kind, of, that's kind of what I want with Navi. And I think that they have a problem right now of like just the, the roles in the team and like just telling like one of the players, especially like wonderful to just like, bro, like we need you right now to be the star player. Let's let's try and work with you, you know? To see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content, well, subscribe to this channel then or, you know, be a pleb and don't.